Good morning. A lot of us are grieving here in America, all over the world, for what's happened at Sandy Hook. It's unthinkable. It is an unthinkable act. But I have a couple of thoughts that I want to share with you. In the interest of full disclosure, I do have a gun in the house. It's, it's not my gun. It belonged to my parents. And my dad had died in 1986, but my mother was there, and she had dementia. And she was living at home alone, and she made reference to that gun at one point. And that day I brought it home with me where it's remained. I wasn't taking that chance. But I really need to get it to a gunsmith and let them disarm it or clean it or do, sell it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want it. I don't, I don't need it. But I was remembering back when, when I was growing up about all of our freedoms and how my parents never thought anything about letting me drive miles away to a shopping center and, and hanging out with friends and going into shops and coming home. It, it was a completely safe and free childhood. I mean, it, it just, we never thought anything of it. And I started thinking in reference with what has happened there, this horrific event at Sandy Hook unconscionable thing that's gone on and thinking about this Mayan prediction about the 21st what if that prediction is right in the respect that now this awful event will cause us to rethink things and to move into a new period of understanding and of caring and change the way we think about our world and about what's going on in it. Maybe this is the kind of change that they're talking about. Not something that is earth-ending or a catastrophic event of some of them. We've had enough catastrophe. I'd like your thoughts on this because it really, it would please me to think that maybe in a way that this is the shift that people are talking about and through bad things Good things can start to happen. Your thoughts. And we'll see you soon.